The Punisher issue 5 sees Frank attacked by the Ten Rings wielding Winslow, who arrogantly thinks that Frank can't hurt him with his guns. Ditching the firepower, Frank gets in nice and close, cutting off one of Winslow's hands, relieving him of one of his rings. This doesn't stop the man from blasting Frank with his other rings, saying that he's done what others have tried to do, and failed. He has defeated the Punisher. Winslow begins to choke Frank with the power of his rings, and Frank begins to plead, but it's all a trick to draw Winslow in closer, allowing Frank to stab him with a piece of metal that has hit Frank in the shoulder. Since Winslow is close, Frank is able to bite one of his fingers off, relieving him of his remaining ring. The villain begins to plead, but Frank promises the bad part is now over and he will live if he talks. Winslow doesn't know where Zemo is but Frank is pointed in the direction of multiple Hydra affiliated people and killing them one by one the Punisher begins to track down Baron Zemo. Leaving the Mandarin's rings with Doctor Strange, Frank continues his rampage through New York until he finds an empty office. He soon learns the office isn't empty as Nick Fury, the real Nick Fury, is waiting for him. After Fury proves that he is indeed the real Nick Fury, Frank asks if the spy master is there to stop him, but Nick says he isn't. His team, however, consisting of Iron Fist, Luke Cage, Winter Soldier, and Hawkeye are. The team arrive and attack Frank, and again, Luke and Danny underestimate him, leading to them injuring one another. Hawkeye tries to take him down with an electric arrow, but nothing works against the Punisher. Before Frank can escape, however, Bucky hits him with a non-lethal bullet, stunning him and knocking him out. Frank is arrested and Nick's soldiers take Frank as Bucky asks how Nick knew he would come to this particular office. As Frank is taken by the soldiers to a van, Nick says that Bucky shouldn't let Frank get in his head and that there is no big conspiracy happening against Frank. Frank is taken to a boat where it's revealed Zemo has made a deal with Fury to take Frank off his hands in exchange for the villain leaving the US and never returning. Zemo toasts to getting his house in order like Frank told him to, so now they can head home. The Punisher issue 5 was a hugely entertaining action set piece of a book that had a great surprise twist you could call it at the end, with Nick Fury finally making an appearance and seemingly working with Zemo or making a deal with Zemo which is really surprising but at the same time you're like uh, he's a spy master, he does that sort of thing all the time. It was fun seeing Frank fight a powered being like the new Mandarin and how he brutally dealt with him and how great that was. I'm really looking forward to Frank at the mercy of Zemo next issue and what the Hydra leader has in store for the Punisher. I'm going to give this issue an 8.5 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans including myself and Joel from Kate Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude. Thank you so much for watching.